TVJ Schools Challenge Quiz brought to you by the It's just a fantastic way to start the 54th consecutive Schools Challenge final here at TVJ. Welcome, everyone. These two schools have been in 23 finals between them. They've won 11 titles between them, and they've played each other twice in a final already. It's Calabar up against San Diego. We welcome everyone on OneSpotMedia.com, wherever you are. Sit, relax for the next hour or so. What an exciting final we are looking forward to. Last year, San Diego played them. They won. 1990, San Diego played Calabar. They won. Again, I don't know who's going to do it tonight. I'm Neville. Welcome. Here's Debbie. Hey, Nev. It's good to be back with you. Isn't it, though? Right? Beautiful. No, it's like reunited and we feel so good again, right? Well, me know me feel good. I feel very, you. very good on the <laughs> longest running television program in the English speaking Caribbean. Oh, my God, we're going to have the best night. And what I love most, not just the performance just now from the Jam Dynamite, but have you heard the support from the teams? Hello? Yeah. It's going to be an exciting match, so for sure. I don't sure. know why you do that, because when you do that, Mr. Korcho, the principal, go... <laughs> well, Mr. Korcho has been manage. here a couple of times if before, so <laughs> he's a, he, I think he's used to it by this, right? Yep. Wow, it's going to be an exciting match. It is time for us at this time. We've waited long enough to meet our teams for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we are starting with the team from Monk Street, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. Team St. Jago. As we welcome the team members, returning to us, Janil Essen, Leroy Casanova, our captain, Gavandra Blake, and Jermaine Miller. Led by their captains, Mark Clark and Romeo Lee. And listen to me, Jago is out and representing drums, vuvuzelas, and all. Oh, they are here. Let's see if they can reclaim their title, Neville, you yeah. think? Did you introduce the coaches I also? Did, I did, I did. Yeah. Um, three of four played in the last year's final. Yeah. So, uh, Kevandra Blake actually is the newbie on the team. Right. Right? So, it's going to be interesting to see her tonight performing. Yeah. It's going to be good. And while we're chatting, you can see them heading for this studio. Um, I wonder how they, they're feeling. 
Uh, let what me tell you, you I, I'm feeling a mix of nerves already for them. I'm feeling a mix of excitement because I know that they're going to throw down tonight. They've won six titles in 1988, 1990, 2008, 2010, 2019, and 2022. And in fact, this is their 12th yep. time in the finals. Yep. Wow, they've been here. Let's welcome the team from Reddish Roll, Seabar. <laughs> the captain of the team, Malik Dilworth, Tyreek Sutherland, and Willando Blair. And as we said, all four uh, played in the final last year. They're coached by Kemoy Lindsay and Demar Barnett. And of course, you saw uh, Principal Mr. Albert Corcho earlier. So yeah. uh, they make their way in again. I'd, I'd, I'd been really, really nervous now. But Listen. these guys have been here before. All four uh, played in the final last year. And um, maybe they're not as nervous as we think. They maybe, are. maybe they're not as nervous as we think because let me tell you, I can just imagine the feeling of being back here with the team that bested you last year, and you're coming, you're coming to try. You're, you're going to come and knock them out this year. Well, let, let's see. I think they're. Both, we will see. They're both in studio now, so we're going to take our first break, and we come back in just a little while. Stay with us, please. <laughs> Excitement is palpable. Welcome back to TVJ's live coverage of the finals of Schools Challenge Quiz 2023. If you're just joining us, we have Calabar and St. Jago. They're about to go head to head in a ding dong battle of wits. And let me tell you, these two schools, they have such a rich legacy. Let me give you some information. With the motto, Labor Conquers All, St. Jago High School is located, as I said before, in Spanish Town, St. Catherine. The school was founded in 1744 and is the oldest continuously operated schools in the Western Hemisphere, one of the oldest. Now, the school began as a free school uh, called St. Jago de la Vega and later amalgamated into two schools. It is renowned for graduating some of Jamaica's senior military officers, world-class cricketers, academic scholars, performing artists, and Olympic athletes. Oh, wow, we're talking about Jamaica's national hero, Norman Manley, and several Olympic gold medalists, including Johan Blake. Jago, make some noise for your legacy. Oh, wow. And with the motto, the utmost for the highest, Calabar High School was established by the Jamaica Baptist Union in 1912 for the children of Baptist ministers and poor blacks and was actually named after the former slave port Calabar in present day uh, Nigeria. Now we're talking about track and field champions. The school has produced one former prime minister, PJ Patterson, and several Olympic gold medalists, Herb McKinley, and also Arthur Wint as well. C-Bar makes some noise for your legacy. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. And we want to hear some more. So Neva Bell is over there with the principal of St. Jago High. And she went to St. Jago, and then she became the principal in 2016. This is uh, um, Mrs. Collett Furtado Price. Great to have you with us, ma'am. This is your fourth um, final. Uh, you won the last one. How are you feeling about this one? Absolutely confident. It's ours tonight, Neville. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you say to the, to, to the team? Well, tonight it has to be a team effort. It's a message to the team from Team St. Jago. We've been through so much, but there are more positives than negatives. And being the person who has to um, you know, I, I, I know it all, both sides of the stories. And then 
it, it goes way beyond the headlines. I just wanted the team to know that they have our full support as we always are supportive of our students. And so here we go, team. Let's do it. We are one family. One family. United as one. United as one. One goal. One goal. One destiny. One destiny. Always trying. Always trying. Well. Never quitting. <laughs> Never quitting. Never quitting. Never quitting. Until. Well, as you as you saw, she took over the interview. <laughs> So Debbie, that's our message. Thank to you very our much. And tonight. good luck, ma'am. Thank, ma you. thank you very much. Right. Debbie is with the principal at, of Calabar, Mr. Albert Korcho. Thank you so much, Nev. Sir Albert, I feel like we've been here before. We were here last year speaking, right? We were here last year, and I told you we'll be back. We're back for the trophy you this year. You are back. Incredible. Now, you've won five titles coming into this year. What is that feeling like? Are you coming back really to claim another one? We will. I mean, the, the four boys who played last year, they're on the team again. One extra year in terms of experience, we will take the title this year. Wow. And what are you most proud of with your team this year? It's the unity between the team, they have been working together. They've been working extremely hard. We have seen the successes, and we believe that just because of that, the fact that they have been so united, they are very committed, they are concentrating on what is happening, and we are, we're just happy, we're just waiting for another hour from now to lift the trophy and take it back to 61 Reggie's Road. Wow. So, I, I kind of know the answer to this one. What would a win mean for your team tonight? It will mean everything. We, it, it has been a long journey. Uh, as I said, these boys have been together as a school, as an educator in Jamaica. A lot of them have been going through a lot. And so this is going to put the ice on the cake for us. As I said, the hard work that we've seen these young men put together, it is fitting that at the end we'll be crowned the champion for the 2013, all 2023 right. school challenge with Windsor. Well, let's see what will happen. Wow. Well, all the very best to you, sir. Thank you. All the very best to the team. We are going to go for a break. We'll be right back with much more to come right here on TVJ. Stay with us. <laughs> San Diego won in 1988, 1990, 2008, 2010, 2019, and 2020, 2022. Let's learn a little bit more about this wonderful school. Most fulfilling part is when we win and we bring home the trophy. Always made it to the finals. Our team has never let us down. Just a school spirit. What was the name of the children's show on JBC TV hosted by Louis Brigding. Bennett? Correct. Teach feeling 2016 finals motivated me and helped me to join quiz. From prep school, actually, I did junior school challenge quiz at Solid Base. So I fell in love with it from there and I just decided that, okay, I want to continue at the high school level. Well, I think they're more focused. Overall, it's a harder season. I tell my team, this season is a season of margins. It's the margins and doing those technical things right that will allow you to prevail. I keep my team motivated by ensuring that everyone is always okay. Everyone is on the same level. Um, we ensure that we always run a lot of jokes with each other to ensure that everyone feels included. Definitely the semi-finals, the last one for me was the most memorable because honestly when it came down to the tie break, I'm sure everybody in the studio was sweating. My favorite moment is also the semi-final, the tie breaker, that's the last semi-final. For me, example, I'm from Maypenta and people say, like, what school go? And I say, St. Jagan, they say, oh, no, I'm sure school challenge quiz. I feel like, you know, when it comes to the time where we're um, admitted to the finals, I feel like the school spirit and everything comes together and that's just the most exciting part. Improvements this season, I found that the guys were a lot more comfortable in terms of their responsibilities. Each person carried out their responsibilities and they were more, I would say, independent. 
So the most exciting part of the of us in the finals of the school challenge quiz is when the match is close and it you know in the buzzer section when it could be anybody's game and you really want your team to win and you're just having your toes down and you believe that hey come on come on come on people come on come on there is an overwhelming overflow of school spirit in the school as well as the surrounding communities i just want to congratulate them on being in another final. It is going to be one big splash when St. Diego takes that trophy. St. Diego is number one, you know, because Monk Street and up on Street. From Team San Diego, it's time to hear about their journey. Here is Team Calabar. We're just here to finish what we started. To carry on the legacy. It shows our level and our dedication. I've been a part of the quiz team for two years now and I've joined because growing up I always wanted to be a part of this competition. Two numbers are such that their sum is 62 and their difference is 18. What are the numbers? 40 and 20. Very good. This win will mean a lot based on the fact that we have been preparing for months, some of us years. So winning this competition will mean a lot seeing that it's my last year doing this. Seeing that this is our final year, the importance of this victory has multiplied tenfold. We don't really feel any pressure to take the title. I think one would argue that the pressure is usually on the holders, but even independently of that, we don't like to put pressure on ourselves. You know, um, that's not how we turn our minds. The pressure is in your mind and really it doesn't go very far in helping you to perform. I've been inspired by the 2015 Jamaica College quiz team. I uh, joined the quiz club and then when I was in like grade eight, I played on the original team and from that my quiz career just went on. The most memorable win for us was the first match against Wilma's boys. I decided to become a part of the quiz team because you know growing up normally sat in front of the TV watching my own brother Kemo Lindsay. He played on the Calabar team that won three times in a row. That really served as an inspiration for me to want to come into the program as well. In terms of improvement the um, team has given like our communication have been better. The teamwork is there and the chemistry is there also. I would like to say that there is really a brotherhood. We are a humble set. We are going into this final with the confidence. We prepare for every team. I've seen them done it. I am anticipating a competition where it will be tough. However, I believe that my coaches, they have done excellent jobs. They have gone to two finals already and winning. Of course we will win. We are going to be bringing the trophy back to 61 Red Hills Road. Uh, two outstanding schools. With me now is the head boy of St. Diego, Damali Cohen. Nervous? Um, I can't help but feel nervous, but I'm confident. Yep, I'm I, confident in my team. I suspect you know all of these uh, uh, youngsters who are inside. Of How might yes, they do. be feeling now, you think? Um, I think they are feeling a bit of pressure. I mean, we can see from the video that was, that was played um, yesterday. Uh, what's her name? Janil. Janil said that they could feel the pressure to bring back the title. So I could understand that, but I know that they're confident and they're going into the match doing well. Had a chat with them? Can I repeat that? Did you have a chat with them? I had a chat with them um, this morning. I had a chat with Kevandra and Leroy. I posted on my status that Leroy really, really, really deserves this win because he's been playing for six years since second form. And I've known him since first form and I'm absolutely proud of him. And I'm, and I'm proud of you. Damali Cohen, head boy, give him a round of applause here. <laughs> All right, let's go across to Debbie. Thank you so much, Nevs. I'm here with the deputy head boy of Calabar. His name is Daniel Fraser. Now, Daniel tells me he's never tried out for the quiz team because his strength is in badminton, right? That's true. Right, but you're good friends with Matthew Akins, who's I a am. part of the team, Yes. Sir. right? I mean, how did Matthew feel going into this finals? How did he feel? What did he tell you? That he's ready. You know, um, he knows that all these guys right here are friends with them. And yet he told us all that he's ready, the team is ready. 
um, and they're ready to take by the trophy. Yeah. I asked you earlier on as well if you were going to take home the trophy, and you said yes, right? We are not here for Jago. We're here for the trophy. Uh, and that's it. Listen, I, I am just happy I'm on this side of the microphone, Neville, because trust me, the excitement, the energy, the competition between these two teams is just, it's everything right now. And, and Seriously. These, and these youngsters are so very confident. I congratulate them all, no matter who wins. This started January 17. San Diego played the very first match this year, and they're playing the very last match. But last year, Calabar played the last match also. We don't know what will happen, but... Ah, in a little while, everyone will know. Yeah, I think so too. Yep. I think you should try it next year for the TVJ quiz team. What do you think? Yeah. Over 70. <laughs> <laughs> gonna go for a break. We're gonna, we're gonna, no, we're going to go inside the studio, Neverbell, because the finals begins right now after the break. <laughs> <laughs> And now the end is here. Tonight we face that final curtain where each of the finalists have taken their rightful place on this 54th staging of TVJ's School Challenge Quiz. Jamaica and the rest of the world awaits her annual nail-biting saga. Principals are proud. Parents see a promise as they watch their offsprings at their best. Coaches are pacing as their protégés display their best effort to steal a show. What a show! A perfect fit for the Yummy family, the brand of generations, to be a repeat sponsor. Yummy supports across Jamaica with children's homes and breakfast programs in schools, affords us the opportunity to bring hope and smiles near and far. We are pleased that our partnership with TBJ's Schools Challenge Quiz has presented us with another opportunity to award our winners with prizes in cash and kind. Congratulations to tonight's finalists. For the winner, we say, well done. And now, as we approach Easter season, we close by saying, thank you for making it yummy, the bun to a cheese.